Be smart. Brush off the online noise. Sometimes, when water vapor content in the Earth's atmosphere is measured from above, strange structures appear at around 30 or 60 degrees latitude north or south. Looking at the picture on screen, you will find the structures to resemble two-dimensional projections of ocean waves. In one respect, they actually are similar. They are waves which can break and form vortices, as they are called technically. With an ocean wave, a surfer can ride through these vortices. The waves depicted here appear because a jet stream is subject to the Coriolis force and begins to meander. Very often, high altitude winds drain the jet stream of the energy required for the meandering. Sometimes, they do not. Then, the meandering will cause a succession of alternating high pressure and low pressure volumes around the jet stream. Alternating high pressure and low pressure volumes, which are coupled, are called pressure waves, of which these so-called planetary waves are the ones with the largest wavelength of sometimes more than a thousand kilometers, or around 600 miles. When I say coupled volumes, then I mean that these volumes influence each other. This being the Earth's atmosphere, the interaction between adjacent low and high pressure volumes may not be described easily, and mathematical equations have to be applied to the real-life situation. Now, you may have noticed already what I think, but let me mention also here that mathematics is a wonderful tool if applied on the background of proper expectations. And that's the thing. If you don't want to, then it's perfectly acceptable to just realize the parallels between ocean waves and the largest atmospheric pressure waves there are, planetary waves.